Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to install and activate Windows Office 365 for free. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we have to do here is we want to go ahead and open up any browser that we have on our PC. Now in here, what you need to do, go to google.com and you want to search for the following. It's going to be Microsoft Developer Program. So the great thing about developer program, you could get Microsoft a word for free here. So here you see the first link here, which is for the developer.microsoft.com. Go ahead and open that up. And from here, you want to join this one. So if you don't have a Microsoft account yet, you could go ahead and create one. So go to Outlook and just create your account. Now here, let's just click on join now since I already have my account. And from here, it's going to ask you a few information about yourself. So that includes your country, region, company, and language preferences. So choose accordingly and choose the country that you are currently located. Here, provide the company if you have some. So in this case, I'm just going to say self-employed here since uh, if you don't want to mention your company here, you go ahead and say that. And from here, you can agree to the following terms here. Go ahead and agree to that. But if you want to read ahead, go ahead and just click on this link here. If you want to receive periodic emails about updates on Microsoft, you can go ahead and enable this one as well. But let's just skip this one and just click on next. From here, it's going to ask you what is your primary focus as a developer. So if you're just choosing this as uh, for personal use, go ahead and choose personal projects and just click on next. And from here, it's going to ask you what are the Microsoft 365 development are you interested? So in this case, we want to go ahead and select that is actually uh, that actually applies to us. So since Microsoft Word is on their Office add-on add-ins, just click on that one. Just click on save. Now here it's going to load up. It's going to give us this first UI here that says set up your Microsoft 365 E5 sandbox. So in this case, we want to go ahead and use this one. Click on instant sandbox and just click on next. And from here, enter the details that they require. So just choose the region. So I'm just going to use uh, Asia for this one. And from here, you need to input your admin user, admin password, and the confirmation for your admin password. So I do have to warn you that you need to remember the details that you'll be entering here. So that we'll be able to use it later on. So go ahead, enter those details. And you want to also enable this setting here if you want to as well. But yeah, so let's just enter all the details required. And once you hit on continue, you'll be rejected to this next UI here, wherein you need to enter or provide a phone number. So go ahead and just enter the phone number. And here, just click on send code and wait for a code. After entering your mobile number and verifying it, you'll be redirected to this next page here. So it's going to, it's going to give you your Microsoft 365 developer subscription. So this is where we'll see our details. So make sure that you don't lose this page. Now, the next thing that you want to do here is you want to scroll down a bit until you see this section here. Now, here in the products, you want to go ahead and click on it and choose all of the products that you require. So if you require Excel, Outlook, Word, PowerPoint, and Project into your computer, you could go ahead and select those. But since I only need this basic tree application, I'm just going to choose this application. Now, from here in technologies, you have to ensure that this is set to office add-ins. And once you've done that, just click on apply. Now, here, just click on save. And from here, let's just scroll up until we see this section again. Now, what we need to do is we need to go to our subscription. So just click on go to subscription. And from here, it's going to ask you to sign in. So go ahead and enter your password here to complete the login process. And from here, you'll be redirected to the authenticator page. Go ahead and just follow the steps to set up the authenticator. Now, once done, you'll be redirected to this page here. So what you need to do here is to start installing the applications that you need. So click on the install apps that you need to see at the top right of your screen. And from here, just click on the option that says Microsoft 365 apps. Now from here, it's going to start download and wait for it to download. And as you can see, I've just downloaded the Office setup. 
So go ahead and open up this file here, the .exe file, and it's going to boot up the installation process. So let's just wait for this to boot up. And from here, it's going to start downloading any assets that would Microsoft would like to install into your PC. So let's just wait for this one to download. Now, once installation is complete, it's going to give you this information here. So you're all set up. So just click on close. And from here, you just need to go ahead and open up your start icon here. Just type in Word and open up Word. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to start activation for Word. So how do we do that? So it's actually pretty simple. Just need the information you needed, which is actually included into your setup process. So here, let's just go back into our browser while we are waiting for Word. So in this case, we need to go back to this page here, which is our profile section here. And in this page here, you see a section that says administrator. So this is your email. So once you got your email, go ahead and go back to Word and you'll be redirected here. So it's all going to automatically detect your email address here. But if you don't see your email address, you can go ahead and change an account here. But since we already have our email address here, just click on continue. And from here, it's going to load up. Just click on next. And from here, we just need to follow the steps to complete the activation. Now here, go ahead and enter your password. And in here, just click on OK. And here, it's going to say you're all set up and just click on done. And from here, you could just basically start using your word as you would normally. And from here, just click on accept. And from here, just click on close. And again, you could start using your word on your PC. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.